Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for joining our Patient Now Master Series today. This is Hillary Geiser. I'm the VP of Sales and Marketing here at Patient Now, and we are so thrilled about today's uh, session. We have Cheryl Whitman with us today. Um, Cheryl, if you don't know, um, is just an absolute industry icon um, from the consulting side of things. So we are just overjoyed to have her, to hear from her, um, share her expertise today. She's going to be sharing with us um, marketing to your internal base for best ROI. And um, go ahead and feel free to type your questions into the chat box and then um, we'll probably just take them all at the end. Um, if there are specific questions for Cheryl or um, as it pertains to patient now, um, we'll go ahead and answer those. And then as usual with these sessions, we'll be sending out a link to the recording after the fact. And then we're also going to share with you um, a digital download um, of one of Cheryl's articles. So definitely be looking for that following this webinar. Uh, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Cheryl uh, to get started. Thank you, Hillary. Happy to be here. Um, talking about key business strategies and getting back to basics with marketing from your internal database, that absolutely is for your best return on investment. We're going to take a deep dive today into your practice. And one of the things I'd like to discuss with you today or after today is creating a 2021 plan. What is your plan? Let's evaluate what is going on in your practice today. Let's look at your staff as it gets towards the end of the year and bonus time. It's the best time to have mystery shopping done and patient surveys and uh, weekly training programs put on the schedule. Um, you might focus on some virtual options for training your staff as well as virtual to communicate with your patients. And, um, you know, you have to start planning now. Don't wait until January when it's quiet or the winter months are here. Start planning. Promote some new equipment. Promote some new products that you've gotten in. Maybe you've just added care credit or one of the patient financing options that you want to revamp and let everybody know about all the specials you have going on and how you make things affordable to everybody. Also the virtual consults um, and integrating um, the virtual consults that are non-medical um, as well as telehealth programs that are integrated very easily with Patient Now. And I was excited to learn about the integration of telehealth programs as well as care credit so Patient Now is really very up on what you need um, as a med spa or a practice. So when you're marketing to your patients, that can, it continues on and on, way past that first phone call. But by the way, who's answering that phone call? How well educated are they? There's a lot of staff turnover during this time. So the person answering the phone or answering the emails really has to understand you and your business and be able to answer all the questions professionally. And there's no on hold, there's no we'll get back to you tomorrow. It has to be pretty immediate. So you wanna build your business from the inside. Communication with your patients now is more important than it ever was before. And there's some things that you can do to increase patient encouragement and increase chances of generating appointments. So adding some more added value, some more before and after pictures and requesting some more testimonials, collecting some information and following up. Make sure that the staff has a pitch, a couple of lines that they use to capture all of the leads, whether it's on the phone or through the emails. Um, you want to encourage people to spend money because you're spending more time with each patient. So let's be honest, if you're going to spend more time with each patient, what's going to happen is you're going to make less money each day unless you're able to bundle and add in multiple services into one session. So let's be real. Can everybody sit and write a check today or give you a credit card? Maybe not. That's where patient financing options to me, and we'll get into it in more detail, are very important. 
you want to keep your patients happy. Word of mouth marketing is your best and your least expensive way to get the word out. Friends and family referrals. What are you doing for friends and family that are sending you referrals? Well, we'll talk about handwriting a note, sending flowers on their birthday, doing something special when they come in. That's all really important because you want happy patients. The benefits, low risk, low cost, and loyalty. We're all looking for loyal patients. And this is one way to get loyal patients on a very low budget. So what are your goals? Have you shared your goals with your staff? Probably not, but you know what? It's time to get your staff very involved because you want patient referrals and you want that to be very clear and you want to discuss that with your staff. Additional add-on services this time of year for added value a very nice, whether it's decollete, the hands, a neck treatment, all of those added services and add-on make you stand out from your competition. You want, to you want to convert anybody that's inquiring. And if cost is the barrier, which we find in many studies that have been done through Synchrony um, and through Care Credit, that cost is the barrier. So you don't want to lose those patients. How do you capture them? Well, you're going to capture them by making them an offer they can't refuse, even though that's a New Jersey thing, but you know I'm from New York. So you want to capture testimonials also. You want happy patients. When they're happy in your chair, uh, they just finished, whether it's post-op or um, non-surgical, and they're sitting there. That is the time to say, great, can I get a 30-second, one-minute video testimonial right then and there? You do not wait. You don't send them home, as most doctors do, and say, please give me uh, testimonials and grade us um, and go to this website. It's not going to work. By the time people go home, there's 400 other things that they have on their mind. So building patient loyalty is your key focus. So you want to follow up with the average transactions. You wanna see what people can afford, how much they could spend, but they will spend three times more than normal um, if they have a card to use where they don't have to take money out of the account that minute, where they don't have to write a check and they don't have to give you cash. And sometimes it's as simple as they don't wanna tell their spouse that they're spending money on looking more beautiful. It's supposed to come naturally anyway. So loyal patients, we have some really interesting statistics here to share. 81% are more likely to continue doing business with brands that offer loyalty programs. So you can offer something very small to loyal patients or you can create a complete program. And loyalty programs bring loyal patients. You don't want somebody looking for a discount at one of your competitors. So that is the reason for setting up loyal see programs and bring a friend, VIP programs, um, and the maximum points that somebody can get, it's almost like a challenge. You know, if I get these 100 points, I will get X amount off my service or I'll get a free upgrade and a hand treatment. Everybody wants some added value. So, you know, whether it's men or women or people referring each other or referring their family, that's the key here is you want loyal patients to refer for you to you, and the word of mouth marketing is your least expensive way to market. So I hope you agree with me that working with your internal database first is the best way to go before you go externally and start spending a lot of money, whether it's online or offline. So you need to create your roadmap to retain loyal patients. And your happy patients, are going to tell everybody about you. Your unhappy patients will tell even more. So you have to focus on retaining your current database, put people in groups according to ages. When was the last time you updated your database? You want loyal patients? Well, let's put them in groups. So when they get email blasts or they get phone calls or they get text messages, it would be something that's focused on what they're looking for, not something that they're not looking for. Because after a while, they won't be loyal and they're not gonna open up your emails or your text messages. So 
We're happy you joined us today to learn a lot about what is going on internally in your practice and making it affordable to everybody. Don't want you to lower your fees. We want you to grow your patient loyalty. This is very interesting and it's something that you might already know. One out of 10 consumers will tell a friend or a family a positive experience. I had a great dinner, I saw a great movie. But remember that nine out of 10 spread the word about a bad experience. So you don't want somebody leaving your practice who's unhappy. And if they are unhappy, somebody is to follow up and call them and get them back in. So we won't get into that today, but we are looking for loyalty and happy patients and working with your internal database. So the internal database of people that know you, who like you, who have been in your practice before, and those are very valuable. There are many tactics. So keeping your patients well informed and communications is very important. I know patient now is great with the text messaging, um, with email blasts, with newsletters, you can create many ways to communicate with your patients, as well as the old fashioned way of picking up the telephone. Because people haven't been doing that lately. I mean, I think when most of us, our phone rings, half of us don't even answer the house phones anymore or your office phones. But the key is the five star customer service. Training for customer service ongoing is very important. The way the staff looks, the way that they speak, the outfits, the shoes, their hair, their jewelry, and also how they speak to the consumer. Your patients are a consumer that can go anywhere. This is a retail, healthcare, cash business. So patients have options. They can go to anybody. They can go to your competitors. You want to keep them. And that, we'll call it Ritz-Carlton, five-star experience is very important. But you need to show your appreciation. So it used to be where you would tap somebody on the shoulder. Nowadays, nobody's tapping anybody on the shoulder. So there's hand, handwritten notes, there's birthday flowers, there's, um, there's an option where you can send a card for somebody's birthday, you could send a gift, um, you can have them come in and pick up a gift certificate or a gift, but you wanna build and nurture all of your patients and encourage the trust and build that bond. And again, you want to encourage testimonials. So if somebody's coming in and they're so happy it's their birthday that you're taking great care of them, you've given them um, a gift, some new skincare products, some gift certificate, you want a testimonial. And you can say it's your birthday and we'd love to hear from you. We'd love our Facebook or our Instagram friends to hear from you. Um, and as long as they sign a waiver, you're good to go to get their testimonial. So you want to deliver value. Everything is about value. What is the USP in your practice? USP is unique selling proposition. So why should I come to your practice opposed to going to one of your competitors? What are the consumers looking for? What do women want? What do you do well? What are you the expert in? And then know what your competitors are the experts in. So you need to really figure out what you do well, and it could be a multitude of things, but pick one or two and focus on those and always deliver value. It doesn't mean you can't do 12 and 15 things or have 20 providers doing 50 different procedures. You can, but you need to focus and be known as an expert. So your unique selling proposition, what is it? I spoke to somebody yesterday in New York, and I don't know if she's listening today, but she's an expert in elbow rejuvenation. Okay, thought I heard it all. I know about the knees, but the elbows. So, but I didn't know that by looking at her website or talking to her until the end of the conversation. So those type of things are what you need to promote your unique selling proposition. Who is your niche market? There's lots of niche markets right now that are open to all of you, no matter where you are sitting right now. Ethnic markets, the LBGTQ markets, the teenage markets, the men's market. There's lots of unique markets. So think of, and you could have a meeting with your staff to talk about what unique markets do we have? And then bring up your credentials and your training and update your service menu and have something 
with the title, if it's going to be the men's market, for men and what are you offering in your menu for men? It could be a very similar facial or peel. It could be microneedling, whatever it is. But add men and photos of men before and after to your website and to your menus and keep everything up to date. And again, make things affordable to everybody. So you don't want to lower your prices, but you want to offer patient financing options, which take one minute and literally you get paid within the next day or so. So it's a win-win situation. Staff training, proper training is very important. We do a lot of virtual staff training. And then we do mystery calls to make sure that what we have talked about has been implemented. You need to, um, in this world right now, in this new world, maybe one of the things is to do virtual Zoom training. That's okay if everybody can't be in at the same time or your space doesn't accommodate. So um, training could be done in person, could be done through Zoom, and recognize everybody's value individually. So whether you're the manager listening or you're the key provider or owner of the practice of med spa, it is really important that you recognize everybody's value. Everybody has strengths and weaknesses and you need to evaluate. This is a cash business. Should they be in the business? Do they look the part? Do they act the part? Are they up to the five-star level that we need them to be? Can they be trained? But you have to have ongoing scheduled meetings. Again. Training is a process, and you need to have loyal patients, but what comes first is your loyal staff. If the staff is loyal and the staff is happy, that equals happy patients. It costs five times more to obtain a new patient, think about this, than it does to keep the ones you already have. So when we're finished with this webinar, I'd like you all to go into your databases, Make sure that they're up to date, put people in groups, whether it's the Maui makeover age, or it's the men or the teenagers, or the millennials, um, generation X, Y, or Z, or it could be just a Botox patient, a filler patient. And this way, every three and four months or six months, you get back in touch with them. So whether it's phone calls, emails, text messages, but, you will save so much money if you work with the internal database because it costs five times more to obtain a new patient. So instead of spending a lot of money on the internet for ads and for social media, even though you still have to do some of everything, it's a multimedia world right now that's 24 seven, just think of these numbers and how much you can save in time and money if you really pay attention to your internal database. Improve the patient experience. The flow and the patient experience is always very important. The more you can automate, the better off you will be and the less time it's gonna take your staff. And one of the reasons why I'm a fan of patient now is because their automated systems are great. Email marketing, appointment reminders, text messaging, um, there's even referral tracking and um, tracking of commissions tracking the staff productivity. So Patient Now integrates also with, as we're talking about care credit for patient financing, um, as well as any of your healthcare virtual needs. So um, you're in the right place at the right time. And I know that they have always hands-on great help um, to answer all of your questions. Well, tracking and evaluating. So we need to track and evaluate. ROI is your return on investment. How much have you invested in your front desk or do you just pay somebody by the hour and you don't track them at all? They are your first point of contact. So they need to be evaluated. And that's where when we do mystery shopping phone calls, we do report cards, we figure out the strengths and weaknesses, and we actually can train from there. But new patients heard about your practice. That's great but you wanna know where they heard about your practice. Same thing in my business. When people call, I say, how did you hear about us? How did you hear about me? I always wanna track where people are coming from and who's referring who to you. Each patient has a value. 
right now it might be $1,000, might be $10,000, might be $20,000 a year. But you can grow those patients as long as you start building that bond and those relationships. And you need to keep track of the referrals and you need to keep track of the loyal patients and the, I'll say, VIPs, the ones who are sending you a lot of patients or friends and family. And you need to thank them. Even a simple thank you is so appreciated. Well, when it comes to mystery shopping, we're the experts. So you want to follow up on all of your leads. You want to rate the way that the staff is following up and doing consults. What is the percentage of people that come in for consults that don't sign up and come in for a service? Well, there's a reason. Time is money to them as well. So nobody's wasting their time to come in, whether you charge or you don't charge for a consult, that's a whole other story. But you want to identify strengths and weaknesses of your staff. And we have done lots of secret shopping with report cards up to, I think, 100 questions when we've gone into a practice to see why they're not closing like they used to. But we do it on the phone for the last 20 years. We've done mystery shopping with report cards. And it really will tell you a lot about what is going on with your staff, with your closure rate, and with your income. Take the magnifying glass out and start thinking about mystery shopping. So you want to make services affordable without having to lower your fees. If you want to be a Groupon office, great. I don't love it. A lot of tire kickers come in. You don't need to discount. You can add extra value. That's great. And extra value can come in many different ways. But if you have consults and two say yes and two say no, okay, some people are happy with that. I'm not. I don't think those numbers are good. But for those in between, so if somebody can't afford the $2,000 or the $10,000, whatever number it is, procedure, right then and there, and you offer them a cash discount, let's say we'll use the $2,000 at 15% discount. Okay, talking about $1,700. But if that person can't afford the 2000 or the 1700 they're not going to be able to go through with the combined services that you want to offer them. But if you offer them a 12-month plan where they could pay $167 a month, most of the time you will turn that no into a yes. I could afford $167. They could be a care credit client okay already, or you can sign them up for care credit on the spot. There's an app, it's easy, and you will make that much more money each day if you really think of how many no's have come through the door. And it might have been because they couldn't afford it. So don't think about lowering your fees. Think about how you can close more consults and get more people to say yes today. Receiving payments. Everybody wants everything that's contactless. Nobody wants to touch anything anymore. I notice even myself, I'm using the end of my keys. There's a special new little key that you can push when you're shopping and you don't and you have to touch a keypad. People don't want to touch anything and they don't want to save time and money right now. Everybody's nervous when they're out. So if you can have contactless payments, that's wonderful. And that's one of the things that Care Credit does offer. And it's safe, secure, and simple. And you can also confirm appointments the night before, as you might always do, and as Patient Now does for you. Um, you could do it three weeks before, the night before, an hour before, whatever works in your schedule um, and with your uh, patients. But if you want to get pre-approval on somebody to see what they are credit worthy of, you can do that through Care Credit without having this a security number the night before. So if you're talking to somebody about a $10,000 procedure and you see that they can only maybe get credit for $2,000, I think you need to give options to see what they can afford when they come in. You don't want to hang over their head something that they absolutely cannot afford. Some people will absolutely always find the money, but sometimes they can't. So 98% of care credit providers say that it's increased their revenue by having a patient financing option and accepting care credit. 
19% increases on average. So just think about 20% increase in your revenue today. But it could be 30, 40, 50%. For more information, you can contact Michael Flanagan, um, mflanagan at carecredit.com, and he can make it possible within a week or so that your practice can start carrying care credit, patient financing options, as well as patient now, if you are listening and you are a patient now client, they have a plug-in that makes it really easy, um, and that can be done almost automatically which is great. I spoke to a couple of my practices in the last week or two who learned about this and they were very excited to call patient now and say, sign me up. There's no fee to sign up with care credit and they just plug it right into patient now. So you want to get your patients telling their friends about you the word of mouth marketing. You want to develop that referral program. My book, Beautifully Profitable, Forever Profitable, was actually written to have office staff meetings. Everybody gets a copy, you choose a section, you choose a paragraph, you choose blogs to talk about. Um, and it helps to make every marketing meeting and every business meeting more productive and very positive. So somebody's gonna read the chapter or the paragraph and then everybody should be able to talk about it. So everybody should be part of your marketing discussion. And if it's about your internal database and word of mouth marketing and how to grow that, well, there's a chapter in there. As a matter of fact, we even have the page number. Um, and so it's available on beautifulforever.com or on Amazon. Um, on beautifulforever.com, I'm happy to offer you a VIP discount and you can use VIP as your code. So there's no form of practice promotion um, that is as cost effective as internal marketing. So make sure that you take full advantage of this powerful tool that you all have, whether it's 500 or 5,000 or 25,000 names. Let's get going. You need help? I'm happy to help you. And all of your names should be in your database right now, um, and you should be activating it with um, email blasts, with text messages, with newsletters and information and make them informational add some blogs and articles don't just make it all about sales and discounts unless that is what you want so if you have any questions please stay connected and for more information i'm happy to answer any of your questions and i thank you for your time today and i was so excited to be invited by patient now and care credit to be able to educate you more and I look forward to being back soon. Wonderful. Cheryl, that was incredible information. So helpful. Um, I know there were a couple of questions being typed in um, via the chat throughout. And um, Abby and myself were keeping up trying to get those answered. Um, of course, if any of you have any questions, please always feel free to reach out to support at patientnow.com. Um, if you have questions about anything Cheryl talked about, or if you would like to see a demonstration of the care credit integration, um, we'd be happy to show you that. We're also going to be sending out, um, like I said, a recording of this webinar, but we'll be sending out um, a video demonstration of just how simple that, that care credit integration is um, so that you can see, you know, what a seamless experience that is for your staff and for your patients there in the office. So. Um, Again, Cheryl, thank you so much, and um, thank you, everyone, for joining us today. And with that, we'll go ahead and close it up. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.